is your main reporter. I'm I'm good, Jermaine. How are you? Are you all right? I'm very well. I'm very well, thank you. Steve, Steve, I want to talk a bit about the weekend. This weekend, you're fighting, fighting lad, on the sky sports, 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 sports. How you've been? How's how been? How's camp been? Good, really good. It's, it's been long, it's been tedious. Obviously, I was meant to be fighting um, in the back end of July. That that didn't happen, that fell through. So, camp realistically started on, on June the 1st. So, I'm, I'm coming into a 20-week camp. Um so it's been it's been long, it's been tiring, it's been tedious. I had to make sure that I didn't overcook, I didn't fatigue. Um so realistically the last the last two weeks I've been I've been tethering down, making sure that, you know, I'm on point, I don't overcook and I'm I'm sparring, I'm sparring ten rounds comfortably three times a week and you know, my heart rate's where it should be, my fitness is where it should be, my strength's where it should be. So everything's everything's good. I'm uh, I'm ready, I'm ready to you know, should go there, go in there and showcase on Saturday. Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah, as I said, I don't, I don't, to be, to be fair, I'm not, I'm not one, you know, because to the end of the day, every, everybody's in there, it's Valhalla, isn't it? Everybody's in there to go in there and get the win and, you know, the, the, the more, it, 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 you know, there might be YouTube clips of them from from a year ago, two years ago, recently. But who's to say that that's the that's the way he's going to come in the ring? It, same as me, there'll be YouTube clips out there of me. But you know, who's to say that that's how I'm going to enter the ring? So, so for me at this this early stage in the career, I think I think you know it's important to have a plan A, B, and C, and you know, see see where he's at, see what he's got for plan A, see what he's got for plan B, and then make a decision on, on, on what plan of action I take and whether or not I put him on the back foot, whether or not I get inside, whether or not he puts me on the back foot and, you know, we we'll go in there and we we we'll put all the skills that we've been learning for for the last, you know, 20 weeks into play. Yeah, I look yeah, forward to the how good does it feel to be boxing, boxing, not on live on sports, 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 but in front of a crowd? Of a crowd. You ever see how much sports in 2020? How much sports in your own crowd? Oh, listen... It's it's been it's been awful, and that that that's not just for me, and that's not just in boxing. That's in all walks of life. There's you know there's 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 so many people who have probably have probably walked away from sports, whether it be boxing, whether it be football, whether it be rugby, because you know it's it's been a hard eighteen month, and and as I say, that's that's not just in boxing. That's not just in sport. That's within the business industries and everything. Everyone's struggling and. To be back in front of the home crowd and to be given this opportunity from Sky Sports is, is is massive. But what I need to do is make sure that I don't let the atmosphere and let the fact that it's my home crowd get into my head. And I go in there and, you know, I, I, I let these do the talk and then I just showcase what I'm about and, you know, what, what I've got to offer and make sure that everyone else in the crowd, I'm there to get that win, come 4-0, and I'm sure Reese is there to make sure that he stops that. So, you know... I'm, I need to make sure that I do a show, I put on a show, I perform at the best of my ability and, you know, Sky Sports are interested to make sure that coming forward, they, they put us on as many shows as I can. How's that? How's that? It's Oh, definitely, and that, and you know, that's the, the the whole. I'm really excited to be part of uh, to be part of Boxer and Sky Sports because, you know, with 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 Eddie Hearn, Eddie Hearn's had full control of of well, Match Room have had full control of Sky for the last sort of twelve year. And if you look back twelve year ago, you know they give they give the likes of Maloney and stuff opportunities to to showcase their boxers, and Sky Sports are stripping it back down to back down to the way it was sort of 12 years ago where they, they give the people opportunities to showcase and, you know, it's, it's down to the likes of me and Georgia and April and Mark Dickinson, these these up-and-coming these up and coming people to showcase what we're about and showcase why Sky have signed with and why they're doing the types of shows that they're doing um, to allow, you know, to allow the smaller people to build their way up. So it's 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 you know, it's a great platform to be part of, and I think I think they are definitely the future of boxing. 
Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I Great show. Great show. What I love about what boxing, about boxing, 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 boxing is there. Up and coming fighters. Up and coming fighters. Previously, previously, wouldn't have got an opportunity. Oh, definitely. I mean, you you, you look at you look at the the fight and the fight on the weekend, for instance. You know, Troy Williams. You know, he's 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 worked the hard way and he's he's built himself up to get that British title fight, and nobody believed he could get that win. Nobody believed in him, and you know, we've all us in the northeast, we we get looked past as boxers for some reason. You know, it's only the odd few get given the opportunity. So Troy's had to fight on small hole shows and build his way up to to get that opportunity. And now he deserves a lot more, as as do northeast boxers, because I think you know, I think we, we, we are really looked past as a as a town in the boxing industry. And in, and that's not just in the boxing. Look at what's happening in football at the minute. You know, with the takeover that's been going on for the last two years, and nobody wants that to have happened because we're, we're a very proud town and we are a small town and, you know, we stand behind every sport that that we have on offer. And I'm just, I'm really looking forward to showcase what Newcastle and what, you know, show them the sound of what the lads and the girls that we've got up here in the atmosphere that we can produce in the in the arenas and, and you know hopefully come come next year we'll be able to we'll be able to do it at St James's Park. Yeah. yeah. I agree with what I you agree what you just said. Newcastle, Newcastle will get on the on really give really give Newcastle fighters, fighters good players good players team. Team. They're really give them really that give Time on the spotlight. Put him in the background. Put him in the background. Big names. Big names. Big names. What I like recently is obviously you mentioned the Newcastle being taken over. Fantastic club. Big club. What I love about the Newcastle is that they have their own. How important is it? Obviously, that you have to be fast in Newcastle. When they get behind their fires. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm. I'm still early in my career, so it's, it's fantastic to be fighting in my local area, and you know it's it's it, it's great. It's going to be a fantastic show to be involved in. But at the same time, I just I need to, I need to be out there and showcasing what, what what I'm about and what the last what the last seven year is is all about. And I walked into a boxing gym seven year ago. February February 2014, I walked into a gym. By July, I had had my first fight, and within within 40, I had 44 amateur fights. So within five years, I had had 44 fights. I turned professional, had three. Turned professional in the September, boxed October, boxed December, boxed March. Then COVID hit. Mm. So it's it's you know I've I've been active since the minute I walked into a gym and that was that was you know seven years ago so this is the longest I've ever gone not fighting so what I need to do is as I say yes I'm fighting in front of the home fans and it's going to be it's going to be phenomenal atmosphere and it's going to be great to have everybody behind us but at the same time I need to make sure that I'm not there to I'm not there to show them you know to showcase them and put on a show for them I'm, I'm there to become 4-0 show Sky what I'm about and then, you know, get back out, whether it be in Liverpool, whether it be in London, whether it be in Scotland, get back out as soon as possible and, and try and get two more fights by the end of the years out, you know, and then and then by by April, ideally I wanna be I wanna be nine and old, touch wood. And, you know, wherever I have to go to do that, whether it be on my doorstep, whether it be a different country. I, d- I don't mind doing that, I, I, but I do need to be active, and I need to, you know, be building myself up to be fighting for a title fight by me by me tenth fight. Yeah, yeah. You mentioned that. Yeah. Like I said, like I said, yeah, right. yeah, right. yeah, you want to you want to keep it and then and then and make up for the time that is yeah, one. One. yeah, definitely. I mean, listen. I, Boxing's a short, short, short game, um, and you know it's. It, I'm I'm thirty, so what 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 have I got? What have I got left? I, I started the sport late, so luckily I haven't got the niggly little injuries that you know people pick up within boxing. But at the same time, I need to I need to be 
I need to make sure that once I'm there, I've got to remain there. There's no stepping back down. So when I'm there and I'm fighting an eight rounder and a ten rounder, I need to make sure that I'm ready to be there because from there I can only go up. I can't go back down. So it's it's about picking the right fights at the right time. And you know, people might people might look look at this and go, "Oh, he's he's fighting, he's fighting, you know, he's fighting a nobody." Or is it? Listen, anybody that steps through that ring is a somebody. Anybody who's went and getting a professional license is a warrior. Anybody stepping through that ring is a warrior. And as I say, this is the most inactive I've ever been since I walked into a gym seven years ago. So when people say he's a fight with nobody, they they, don't, they 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 have no clue what 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 it feels like to step through that ring and the training people have to put in to get to the stage to step through that ring. So am I looking past at least one hundred percent? Not, you know, not looking past my. I don't care what his amateur record is. I don't care what his pro record is. He's there to get the win, and as am I. And you know. Take your hat off to the guy for, as I say, going through the training, going through everything to be in that ring on that night. Yeah, I yeah, do. I do. Really I do. Respect I respect any fight, any fight, any fight. I love my life. Just to entertain all of us. Definitely. The warrior. I want to talk to you about this. Which one is the standard with a promotion? How's it been? How's it been working with working with any promotion? Any promotion? So obviously there was there was some there was some discrepancy. I don't know much that's gone on. Um, it's it's between it's between Pat and my manager. Obviously, I was meant to be on the Pat show on the twenty third of July. That that show went ahead. I found out four days before the show that I wasn't fighting um, due to something that went on behind closed doors and the the whole promotional contract with myself and Black Flash that that got that got you know seized instantly after after that but I, as I say I'm you know I, I, I'm i I'm a fighter I don't know what goes on behind closed doors I don't know what goes on behind management and, and contracts and what have you all I do is I go in the ring you know I train for 10 weeks for a fight I get in the ring I perform and then I come you know I come home get my wage and, and do what I need to do so what goes on behind closed doors I, I don't know Um, you know and I, whatever's gone on with with Mark and Black Flash, uh, it, that's 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 down to them. They 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 had something going on. And listen, I wish I wish Pat and Black Flash all the best and all the fighters that are boxing boxing for them all the best. Because as I say, anybody who's in the sport, I know how hard it is. I know how lonely it is. I know how you know tough it is to be in the sport. Whether you're a manager, whether you're a promoter, whether you're a fighter, whether you're a coach, I know how hard it is for the for them all. So. As I say, I wish I wish Pat and Black Flash the best of luck. Brilliant, brilliant. I want to go. I want to go a bit. You've been you been sparring with Andy Cooper for six weeks. Six weeks. How was that? How was that? Obviously, sparring with someone like Andy Cooper. Yeah, it was it was it was a fantastic opportunity be to be you know given and. Benga contacted myself and and who owns two five eight management. He contacted me and, and Mark and he offered, offered with the opportunity to go down there and re- see whether or not we can replicate taste. And then obviously I had been sparring with Huey for the full Marius Wack camp, um, so I was down with Fu- Huey sort of last October, November, and December um, throughout the full camp. And you know, obviously Benga contacted, we went down to Finchley and. Rob McCracken and Anthony and Benga and all the all the team were impressed and obviously that 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 fight had pretty much been signed and sealed and then obviously you know the 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 Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury was going to go to court and he signed the rematch clause and it all fell through again politics exactly what I've just been going on about Black Flash you know as a fighter all we can do is is go in there and fight we don't know what goes on behind closed doors Anthony thought the fight was going ahead. You know, Tyson thought the fight was going ahead. Unfortunately, politics didn't didn't get that fight together. So, hopefully, Anthony will go against Dusik, re- get get the rematch, get the belts back. I don't know whether or not if Dillian beats Otto Warren. I don't know whether or not Dillian's mandatory before Anthony to fight to fight Tyson again. The politics within boxing, you you, you don't know what's going on. Um, so if Anthony if Anthony gets the titles back by February. Will will that fight happen before the Dillian White Tyson Fury fight? I don't know, but 
we all invited back down and it was a fantastic experience and you know I appreciate the experience and this is why I was saying I walked into a boxing gym seven years ago to lose weight and you know, I, I don't want riches I don't want gold I don't want big cars I don't want five houses all I want to do is, is build a legacy and show everybody you know the the fat kid from the from the council estate with no GCSEs is, is, is boxing on Sky Sports and anybody can do anything with the right, right mindset and in the last seven years I've I've competed for my country I've sparred a world champion I've signed a deal with Sky Sports I've won amateur titles but you know I'm, I'm doing things that I would never have ever have dreamed of and I just, you know, if I can build a legacy and get two or three kids to look at me and go, okay, I'll do that, I'll, whether it be in sport, whether it be in, you know, all walks of life, whether they look to apply for a new job, whether they, you know, go travelling around the world, but just to just to say, I, I can do it, I want to do it, and, and go and do something, because if if somebody had said to me eight years ago, seven years ago, when I walked into Vision, that this this is what's going to happen. I would have I would have laughed in the face, you know, but it is happening, and it's it's been a long seven year to the point where I've I've, I've you know I've missed stag dues, I've missed holidays, I've lost friends, I've I've broken relationships, I've I've I haven't had money during the time, I haven't drank, I've missed partying, I've missed and I haven't lived, you know, the best of my life, but the best of my life is still to come. All that short term things I've missed. It's all going to be worth it, and that can come in in the future. And you know, as I say, to, to spar with a world champion at the time, unbelievable. But at the same time, that's where I aspire to be. So I didn't look at it any other different than sparring. You know, my first amateur spar. It was for for me. Yes, it was an amazing experience, but it was no different. He he had to show me the respect that I was showing him. That one day, that's where I want to be. I love that mindset. 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 I love Everybody's everybody again sitting sitting calling Wilder, but he's 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 posted the videos of, of the state of his hand and listen he, 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 for me Wilder just needs to come out and say I, I got beaten off the better man listen uh, Wilder's Wilder's story is unbelievable if you look at why Wilder got into boxing he got into boxing on the back of working three jobs to you know to, to put his daughter through through healthcare with with the the price of healthcare in America. He had to do something, you know. He was working three jobs, training, and it's an amazing, it's an amazing story. And he's done it all for his, all for his child. And you know what he's, what he's achieved in boxing is phenomenal. But for me, he needs to come out, hold his hands up, and say, "I got beaten off the better man." He showed heart, he showed grit, he showed determination in the fight. But Tyson Fury, he's, you know, he's, he's the best, he's the best in the world at the moment. There's the, you know. He's he's travelled he's travelled uh, he's travelled in Klitschko's back garden, you know. Beat him at 30, 30 when Klitschko was thirty seven year old, and you know in, in his peak, Tyson travelled into his back garden, beat him beat him on his terms. He's done the same with John Wild after five year out, you know, six months worth of training, stepped in stepped into the ring with the the, the heaviest puncher in boxing. What people say, you know, the the biggest right hand in boxing. And he's went and, in my eyes, beat him three times. Yes, the draw the first time, but so he's he's beat him twice. He's retained his belt, and you know, it, it, was it was it the tidiest of boxing fights? No, I, I don't think it was. But did Tyson do what he had to do? Ruffle him up, tire him out, lean on him, grab him, bully him? Yeah, and you know, I think I think Anthony needs to watch that go away. Put on some, put on some pounds, put on some muscle mass, and do the exact same as what Tyson done with Wilder. He needs to do the same with Usyk. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you just mentioned. Was he a bit surprised by, by, surprised by, by tactics by, into that fight? How he didn't yeah. impose himself on the fight? How he didn't impose himself on the fight? How he didn't impose himself on the fight? Before he would have impose himself on looked like he showed Usyk a bit of too much respect and tried to box him. I 
hopefully you can get Steve back. You there, Steve? Jermaine? Yeah, you there? There's one second. We'll Hello, man. You there, Steve? One hopefully we get Steve back. Sorry, you there, Steve? It, went, it, it, it totally went off there. You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Thanks for coming back on. Uh, yeah, I'm all right. We're back. Thanks for coming back on. Uh, Sorry, what, what, what were you saying? Yeah, the question was, I was yeah, the question was, I was using the fact that he didn't really impose himself on the strength, using the power, and try to box a boxer. And try to box a boxer. Well, this is the... Listen, this is the ongoing. This is the ongoing thing. With is Rob McCracken the right right guy for for Anthony Joshua? Was it was it Anthony's tactics? Was it Rob's tactics? You, you you don't know. Did he did he did he go in there with a with the mindset of roughing him up and just didn't didn't really work? You, nobody nobody knows what you know what. What is what goes on behind closed doors? Well, it's coming out and saying that he had injured his right hand a week before in sparring, so he didn't hire as much. And as I say, nobody nobody knows the mindset of the fight. And when you're in that ring and you know you're you're trying to do something and it's not working, it's mentally demoralising. So Vanden was trying to you know get in to ruffle him up, and he was just getting caught with that overhand right hand that that Usyk was hiring. You know, in the check check right hook, and you know, he yes, he tried it. He tried to outbox him, did, and it didn't work. But at the same time, again, he showed heart. He showed determination. He stayed in there, and he tried and he tried and he tried. And you know, he's going to watch the back of that, and he's going to know why he didn't succeed. And he's got a fantastic team around him to. To, to work on that and he's got the right sparring partners and I'm sure he can fly somebody anybody in from all over the world he's, he's got the money to make sure that he's got the right sparring he knows what to expect this time round and for me I think he needs to go away I think he needs to put on you know get back to around about two two five five to 260 pound and, and, and really really ruffle him up because you look at you look at the Chisora and in Usyk fight, Chisora tried to bully him, and you know it worked. It worked instead. That could have that could have went a draw. That could have went either way. And you know, I think that's that's exactly what Joshua needs to do against him: bully him, get onto his chest, lean on him, throw him around, and show him what a natural heavyweight at seventeen and a half stone can do to somebody who's naturally fought. He was a light heavyweight in 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 the amateurs. You know, his first fight was at light heavyweight. Then he obviously stepped up to heavyweight and then super heavyweight and, and back down. Cruiser is the pro. So, realistically, he's 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 fought at 12 and a half, 13 stone. So, yeah, yeah, he, he looked imposing. Yes, he, he clearly hit hard. He hurt Anthony with a few, but Anthony needs to go in there and show him what a real 17 and a half, six foot seven man is all about. And, you know, just just bully him and, and and show show what 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 he what he can do when you're all leaning on him and, and just tire him out that way because trying to box him it's not going to work. Do you think? Do you think? Ryan's not Ryan's really, not really, really good. Definitely, definitely, and I, I think if if that was if that was me, whether or, or, or Lomachenko or you know Golovkin, somebody somebody at the at the top. You know, one of the one of the massive names it, it, their weight had have done that. I, it, Josh Taylor, I don't think Josh Taylor gets enough credit for for what he's done. He's, he's the only unified fighter within. Yeah. I think it's twelve years. We haven't had a we haven't had a unified fighter, and the only person that can get one at the minute is obviously Plant. You know yeah. uh, that that fight coming up, but Josh Taylor gets. You know, he doesn't get nowhere near as the credit he deserves, and. Usyk, it's, it's the same as with Usyk and everyone's going, well, why should it go over to Kiev? It should be at Wembley, it should be Yarrow. Yeah, we'll say, well, why? Usyk's the champion. Yeah. Why yeah. why, why should it be on Anthony's terms and Matchroom's terms? And, you know, U- Usyk's earned, earned it to be on his terms in his back garden and have have the home fans behind him. You know, and it's, it's, the, it's the whole Rocky Ivan Drago story. You know, Rocky went there with being hated, having no fans, and yet, yet it's a film 
but it's it's realistic that what happens in real life. Usyk's come here and and gained the credit of you know thousands of people, but people in the boxing industry do say how shit Anthony boxed, but not how good Usyk boxed. Yeah. And you think, but he no, Anthony didn't box bad. Usyk just made him look not as good as he's looked in his previous fights. But did he box bad? No, of course he didn't box bad. He's 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 a world. He's he's you know he was a four time three time world champion. For, sorry, four belts, two time world champion. So, you know, as I say, he's, Usyk definitely didn't get the credit that he de- that he deserved for the fight. No chance. Yeah. I'm glad you but then they but then put they, it in Saudi Arabia. Do you think? Do you think? Do you think? Do you think it should be on a neutral ground? Do you think it should be on a neutral ground? Not, not, not in London. Not again, in London. Not in London. Again, again. Again. Not in no, I think I think it should be. I think it should be in Kiev. I think I think you know. I think the whole thing, the the difference between Usyk and and Ruiz is is Ruiz never expected that that fight was never meant to happen. Ruiz was just you know. He, he was ranked number eight by the WBA. He, he might have gotten a fight against Parker next, or he might have he might have you know become an interim champion. Or he was never ever going to get that opportunity. And off the back of that, he he's become a he's become a millionaire off the back of it, which is I think why he didn't take the second fight as serious as he should have. He come in heavy. He had been drinking. He had been partying. He had been enjoying himself because it's a, it, it, it was a monumental moment for him. So. I think with him, you know, he was just happy to get the rematch, get the get the millions of pound in that he was getting, regardless of where it was. Yes, he was happy, to, you know, he wanted it in America. Joshua wanted it over here, and it ended up being in Saudi. But this is the issue with boxing: money talks, politics talk, and you know, Saudi. Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua. If the fight, where was the first fight going to be? Saudi Arabia, you know. The, the, in, in going away from boxing, going to football, they're changing the whole football. They're changing everything for the Premiership. They're changing everything for all the divisions so that Qatar can hold the World Cup in the winter. Something that will, you, you know, they're changing every single platform of football just so Qatar, one of the richest com- countries in the world, can hold the World Cup. And unfortunately, you know, a, a sport is a business. And you know whether it be boxing, whether it be football, and you know baseball, basketball, especially the American show, American sports. It's it's a, it it is a business, and at the end of the day, if, if Saudi Arabia is going to bring in three hundred million, and the UK is only going to bring in a hundred million, Eddie Hearn and and Bob Arum and all these promoters are going to go. Well, it's two hundred million in the in the bank. You know, let's let's go to Saudi Arabia, and it's always going to happen. You know, it's it's not about us as us as fighters or, or the, the the audience wanting to watch. It's it's unfortunately it's about money, and I think I think it's always going to be that way. Now it's 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 run as a business. Yeah, I fully yeah, agree. Fully agree. I, agree. I, agree. I want to talk a bit. But obviously, you want to talk about what you want. Next year, next year. No, 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 no. I'm going to talk a bit about the heavyweights. You face, you do go on a go on a ministry and eventually meet down the line, and that's a lot of Solomon Dakis, Solomon Dakis, winner, 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 I'm 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 not the tech listen, as I as I said earlier, anybody that steps through that rope is a warrior for me. It, regardless of the weight, regardless of, of of what they've been through, what their amateur past is, what they've done in the in the in the previous past. Anybody that gets through that rope that them ropes is a Spartan. And I'm not the type of kid who's going to sit there. It'll never be me. I'll never sit there calling people out, and you know that's that's not my way. I love the way I, I love the hype Babich has got at the minute. I think it's fantastic that you know the full hype around him and his he, he style is just is has just come forward, and he, you know he's he's hitting people, he's hitting people on the back foot, and he's he's tiring people out, and he's short, he's, he's fit as a fiddle. I love the way Adelaide's boxing, but you know. It's, 
Solomon De Creer's done fantastic against Sokolowski and only his third third fight fighting somebody as, as decorative as Sokolowski. Unbelievable. And, you know, he had a fantastic amateur pedigree. Johnny Fisher, a young kid coming up, didn't really have an amateur pedigree, doing really well with Tibbs. And, and he's, 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 you know, he's stopping people and clearly hits hard. So I'm enjoying the hype around them all. You know, they're all, they're all performing and the Adelaide's calling the likes of Gorman out and, but for for me, for me, I'm I'm really enjoying the hype around Babic. So, I, although I wouldn't sit here and and call Babic out and say I want to fight Babic in, in in three, you know, six months time, that is that is a fight that I would like, you know, I would like. But if I'm going to be fighting Babic, if I'm seven and zero and he's nine and zero or ten and zero at the time, then it has to be for a title. I'm not I'm not going to I'm not going to fight somebody like that if 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 that deck would have pedigree for 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 just the fans. Do you know what I mean? I, it needs to be for the right money at the right time and for a title. Um, and and out of them out of them all, I w- I would definitely like the. I would definitely like to, to fight Babbage because I think I think my style and his style would would really work well together, and I think it would be really good for the fans. But as I say, I'm loving I'm loving the hype around him, and he's doing well, and he seems he seems just a gentleman in the sport. You know, his his last fight, his last fight when he, you know, he, he stands and talks, and obviously he asked his wife to marry him against Bennett, and you know he said Bennett is just a true warrior, and yeah, there was a bit of a bit of a disagreement of the way, and but. You know, he's, he's he, every time he speaks, he speaks well, and yeah, he comes across. He comes across a bit aggressive and a bit a, a bit aggy, and you know, he's he, he wants to fight everybody, and he's calling people out. But listen, that that's his persona, that's his personality, that's the way he likes to likes to do things, and 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 it's working. It's getting him. It's getting him the fight. So, as I say, like like everyone you've just named, I wish them the best of luck, and hopefully, I will be meeting them soon for an English title. Obviously, not Babic. Um, the, you know the other three that you named. Hopefully, we'll be meeting in in the future for an English or a British title or Commonwealth title or even Babbage for the Europeans vacant at the minute. So, you know, out, out, out what, who, you know, out of them all, it, 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 never say never. And as I said, I need to make sure once I'm there, I'm ready to be there because I can only go to them. I can't come back down. So, and then you've got obviously Dave Allen. He's he's back in the gym and he's up and coming. He's wanting a British title fight by sort of February March time. So whoever is on the rise Tommy is going Watts, to Tommy Watts, Watts. Watts. Tommy Watts. Tommy Watts as well. Do you, Tommy. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. so you've got you've got some fantastic up and coming up and coming. And I'm really looking forward to George Fox and Babbage because the Lucas Brown fight I wasn't looking forward to as much. But you know George Fox he's he's trained he's 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 got a good he's got a good team around him and. He looks, he looks tough. And listen, for me, if if you don't go on the back foot with Babbage and you stay centre of the ring, and every time he comes in, you're just picking him with a stiff jab. And you know, I'd I'd like to see what Babbage has got to offer after that. But he he, he somehow bullies you into going on the back foot, and that's when he, you know, these long levers manage to catch you, and that's where that's where his knockouts are coming. And you know, he's he's he's, he's fantastic at, at what he does. But I would like to see. George stay centre of the ring, use his weight and talk and talk and back to the way Fury fought well and just bully him and, and put him on the back foot and see what you know, see what he's about, see if he's got a plan B and C. But no, again, I wish I wish everybody all I want to I just want to see everybody succeed and do well and yeah. become become the best versions of themselves and you know, do do well in the sport. Brilliant. Steve. Brilliant. Steve. I'll let you go. I'll let you go. Listen, like, like, like I say, I'm 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 going for the win. I'm going for the knockout. If it if, if it happens, if it happens, fantastic. But you know, I've got 18 months of, of anger and rage, and you know, things have things have fell through my hands. I was meant to be fighting in September of last year on on an LCS show that fell through due to COVID off the British Boxing Board. Then I was meant to be fighting in July, and it's it's been a horrible 18 months to the point where I've looked at looked so many times at, at, at walking away. And Sky Sports have given us this opportunity, so you know, I am I am there to showcase, but at the same time. I need to be smart about when I showcase and I need to make sure that, you know, I don't let this take over these. And 
you know, I will I will be going for the knockout at the right time, and it'll be a, a you know, not not only for me, but I think you should tune in because it's only Sky Sports Box our second show, and look at the names they're putting it on. You know, Huey Fury, Hannah, Savannah Marshall. You've got Eubank Junior. You've got Ritson. You know, you've got you've got four possible world title fighters in, in on one show. It's 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 going to be an unbelievable show. So, I suggest if you haven't got a ticket, you know, get one if you're within the northeast area or, you know, open Scotland or Leeds, and it's not too far for you to travel. Or just you know, be on YouTube for the up and coming fighters for those that are on YouTube and then tune into Sky Sports for the for the main event. Brilliant. 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 Please, please. Have your time. Have your time. I'm not the best. I'm not the best. And I'm not the best. 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 I'